Hey guys, it's TV here. Welcome back to another video. A while ago, I remember before coming to university, I searched up my specific university accommodation. I wanted to know what it looked like. And I stumbled across a couple of videos of Penring Campus, University of Exeter, where I'm at right now, on Glasney Student Villages accommodation. But they were really old, three, four years ago. It's now come to me. Well, it's 2023 now, we're going into 2024 and there'll be more students wanting to know how the accommodation here is a more updated video of how our Glasney rooms are. I've decided to take that onto myself and record that video for you guys. So I've just come from boxing training uh, with the local boxing club here. I've not been posting for two weeks now, so best time to do it now. Whilst I'm on my way to my room, it's important to note that Penryn campus is actually the only campus in the UK that's shared between two universities, University of Exeter and Falmouth University. First year accommodation, if you do decide to live on campus, you have a mixture of both Exeter students doing the academic subjects. You also have Falmouth students doing the more arty, creative subjects. Um, so you have a nice mix. My current first year accommodation, I share my flat with a mix of both Falmouth and Exeter students. Right, I've got to talk about this. If you do end up coming here, this is one of the most annoying things ever. You see all these stairs. If you want to go to Asda, um, you have to take these stairs. Well, you don't have to, there are other ways around it, but this is the quickest way down. So you get stairs going all the way down. As you can see, the campus is based on top right there ever have to really train legs uh, but carrying all the shopping up here can be a bit of a pain some people just go around and also to be fair Asda here do one pound deliveries which is also convenient but that reminds me I will do a own Penryn campus tour video one day hopefully We're now coming to the end of first year I'm quite confident I know this place quite well so as I walk towards my flat these are the, the outsides most blocks are like this as you can see for example there it says block j flat eight um you get block a block b block c all the way to i think you can get block n block p i don't know but basically it's these buildings all around campus and very uphill as you can tell by my breathing no we're now passing kufi so my accommodation is up there as you can see there's more rooms up there will go into mine but this is Kufi um, ideal place if you need um, some coffee in the morning also a place to study pizza things like that I've worked some shifts there before nice place to go as you can tell more hills up there there are more rooms where the lectures and stuff take place it's quite a hilly campus I'd say but it is worth it look at the views you get from here it's about eight o'clock on a Wednesday. So everyone's home, everyone's finished with studying today. Some people might be at the library. Uh, over there, that's Glasney Lodge. The accommodation runs all the way down there. It's a big area down there. So a lot of students are based down there. And also my block, for example, is there. Quite convenient to the rest of campus. So in terms of numbers, I heard there was 1,500 students based on campus. Generally, they're all first years, uh, easier to get to campus and adjust to the university lifestyle also make friends over there there will be this is the place you'll go to when you first come in to move your stuff in they'll give you your key they'll give you a little in induction to where your room is um, you also come here to collect your mail if you've got any issues uh, 24 hour security these guys are available 24 7 they'll give you their number you just call them up if you've got any issues any issues if you're flat at all i had an issue with a lock a while ago and they managed to fix that brought someone around got my lock readjusted these guys are the people regarding the accommodation if you need any issues and they'll either sort it or direct you to whoever's in charge of it walking through accommodation that ambulance has been there for so long i don't know what it's doing there what its job is more blocks more blocks and my block is right there at the end a few parking spaces for students or living on campus if you do drive something you might want to consider i'm not sure the details about the parking the additional charges but it is there but i think glasney is quite relatively new
There's a mugger over there. I'll include that in, a, in my future Penryn Campus Tour video. Just enter my block now. As you can see, there's three layers. You've got one floor here, two flats live, live in there, two flats there, two flats at the top, and I'm based up there. Every block tends to have its own laundry room, so I'll quickly go into that now. This will be quite straightforward to use. Put your clothes in, get the app, scan that, top up your balance, put in the mode you want. Generally, it's £3.10 for a wash, £2.90 for a dry, so fiver for everything, washing machines, dryers, simple. Now go upstairs. Get your key and then use the fob to scan that. There you go. You go in. Do it now in the hallway. Um, as you can see, this is generally how the flat is. One room there, one room there, room there. And then there's four rooms down there. My room's based in there. So I'll just now go into the kitchen and show how the kitchen works. So this is generally how a kitchen is. Uh, I've just got a flatmate. <laughs> My flatmate's just eating. He just left for a second. You get a microwave, get lots of shelving. So that's like room one, room two, room three, room four. So like this is my area. And also fridge, freezer, oven, cooker, and hot water, toaster. Like this is everything that's included. This is a really social place. Remember back in the early days, we all, our flat sometimes used to sit around here and this is have you got to know the first people? Fridge. Uh, fridges can be messy. Depends on your flatmates. You can have some messy people, some neat people. Everyone has their own designated shelf space. You'll sort that out. For example, this is my one. Just a few containers of food. And also with the freezer as well. Oh. <laughs> yeah, freezer can be a mess sometimes. I'll put that in after. We'll need to defrost our freezer, as you can see the state of that. But yeah, again, designated freezer space. Ideal, more than enough space, I'd say. And that is our kitchen. We'll now just enter my room, going into room number four. So as you go in, firstly with the door lock, you can lock it and they won't be able to open it from the outside. Quite a helpful keyhole as well. This, however, is a fire door, so in an emergency, you do not have to unlock this, you just put down, it overrides the lock, and then you can just lock it again. This is my room, a bit messy, but uh, I do try to keep it as neat as I can. That's me. Walk in, I've got my shoes here. Let's drop these here as well. Shoes here, that's just my football kit. Um, Nice radiator, which you can turn on and off. It's working, and then quite a lot of space across the floor. This is like a, like a board. You have to buy your own pins though, and then you can just put up everything uh, that's helpful for you. So like a map, you'll be given, you'll be given this, you'll be given this, you'll be given this, and this. Um, receipts just so I can track my money. Shelf space, so you can put whatever you want on these. Um, as you can see, I've basically put it with all my stuff, my books, uh, my teddies from my childhood. Uh, desk space, you get a lot. So you can see massive, lots of desk space. And you can just put all your stuff here. Um, quite a nice place to study as well. And all this, just some chocolate cake from my flatmate's birthday. Um, this is a view from outside. The view does vary depending on where on campus you're based. Nice view, we're reaching late afternoon now. In terms of drawers, I've got three drawers. As you can see, you can put whatever you want in them. Just got some stationary stuff, um, some snacks, and some extra clothing. You can put whatever you want. Also, it's just got a suitcase, got a suitcase underneath my bed as well. And then a bag for, for dirty clothes. And then once this builds up, I can take that downstairs into the laundry, get that cleaned up for a fiver. It's a bit expensive, but you gotta make do with what you've got. And that's the bed. So on Glasney, every room comes with a double bed and an ensuite, which I'll show in a second. Or um, you also get the twin rooms as well, where you get a roommate convertible bed into a table. Uh, I'll just show a picture where you share the bathroom with one more person of the same gender. My room is a double bed with an ensuite. Get a mirror, which is handy. Every room is like this, hello. Two bedside tables, 
which is really convenient, and one shelf. I must admit, I know some people bring a lot of clothes to uni, and I personally have brought quite a bit, but this is like a good, like perfect match for how much clothing I bring. So if you bring less, it's convenient. If you bring more, uh, I know some people put it in the drawers or they stack it up there. You know, this is your space. You can do whatever you want with it. There's more space up here. Going into the ensuite. So this is the size of an ensuite, which is really good. This is the shower. Uh, the shower is really good, I'd say. We did have a few problems with the hot water sometimes, but usually it's taking Glasney Lodge like a day or two max to fix it. Mirror here, stuff here, and a mirror here, which is convenient, and all my stuff is in here, and even more um, stuff. You know, bathroom stuff is here, which is convenient. It's decent sized sink, and then a toilet as well. So that is the ensuite. One thing that sometimes can be annoying is this light is automatic. So in the middle of the night, if you do need to go to the toilet and use the bathroom, this has a light outline and it can be quite bright sometimes. I'll just show you a video now. Um, I recorded this at 2 a.m. So the time is 2 a.m. Uh, this is exactly what I mean. See there, I'm just going to my bed. And you've just got the light of the door just shining through. And there is light there if you want to sleep in pitch black. And that's the end of my video. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, I hope I could give a updated video of how accommodation is on Penryn campus. And if you're coming here soon, this colour, this varies a lot. I've been to a lot of rooms and there are minor differences, but generally this is how a typical room looks like. Uh, space wise and everything. Hope this was helpful and if you're coming to Penrith campus soon, I'm going to second year I cannot wait to meet you. I'm very excited um, and I'll possibly bump into you at Freshers Looking forward to meeting all you guys. If this video has been helpful, please do go and subscribe more videos on my university life Coming soon as I move into a uni house next year. These uni house vlogs are gonna be exciting um, Yeah, take care guys. See you later Right, so I recorded this video yesterday and as you saw our freezer was completely iced up we've got a little update we turned it off and yeah there's like water everywhere like it's I mean it's defrosted quite a bit we can actually now get this out which is good but um that and then our mop Head's also been stolen by somehow or something. It's early morning, uh, just need to get on with my day. It's been reported to Glasney, we'll see what they do.